photography is going to help you and through photography you are going to fight because there is a thing known as phototherapy. Mumbai is incredible. It's our last destination on this travel and we are ready to go home. But what a beauty this city is. It is busy, bustling, overwhelming, and it also feels kind. Basically, uh, I'm a photojournalist. Did my training in photography. After I had I myself had a problem, you know, I got a I had a ear surgery in 2000. Then, whereby I lost my hearing uh, from one side, complete of hearing from my right side. There's a whole block in Mumbai with the Tata Memorial Cancer Hospital, where people come from all over this region in India for treatments. So they come all the way to Bombay for getting treatment over here. They don't have uh, uh, hospitals like Tata Memorial Hospital. Tata Memorial Hospital is doing an excellent job. We got to visit St. Jude's Cancer Center, a children's home for kids with cancer that come from the countryside. It's located right next to the cancer hospital, and it offers a place to stay for families who come for treatment. It's a great place, but the need is definitely bigger than what's offered. I have a blood cancer. When I was at 13, 13 year old. I 16 year. I was in 2012. I was And I started publishing uh, through Guardian. And I started getting recognition uh, towards my photography more. What is it uh, you know, that makes me uh, click better uh, pictures? Is it something to do with my sudden loss of hearing? Because once you have a loss of hearing, Basically, a deaf, they do all the communication through their eyes. And photography is all coordination between your hand and your eye. So I said, why not I share my, my skill of photography? I am there into a world which I have chosen myself to try to re reduce their suffering. And I am using photography as a tool. Yes, yes, it has been helped me. We are feeling that we are ill or what. That we can forget everything. We leave all the world and we do whatever we want to do. And then in 2013, I came in uh, touch with uh, Tata Memorial Hospital. I have a group which is called, uh, you know, uh, they themselves named that group, that is Warrior Photography. Okay, we will fight cancer. So happy day, Sabjan. Now we group in the group, there are two people, but sad, but it's a very happy group. We will see each other, we will meet each other, we will be so happy that we will not ask anything. Not only photographies, even if they have personal problems and also they are in touch with me. Even the cancer kid and all. I, re I re the, the guy whom I lost, Harsh, is a, always is the one, whenever he goes for chemotherapy, he will say, Sir, can you come to the hospital? I said, what? What for? He said, please spend some time. I am waiting for hours and I feel so bored. I need someone to talk to. Then one day I got a call from his father saying, Ki, uh, Gulshan is not there. I couldn't, I didn't know how to control myself. You will not believe I cried for 15-20 minutes. <laughs> Photography is going to make you into a right frame of mind, will make you happy. In what way it's going to make you happy is that whenever you feel sad or you feel depressed, you look for something else, you know, you look for trying to divert your mind. Here you don't have to depend on anything. If you have got a creativity, anything, it could be writing, it could be painting, Photography is one of it. Now you don't have to even invest money on cameras also. You've got a cell phone which gives very good camera. So just to take off your mind, photography is going to help you. And through photography, you are going to fight because there is a thing known as phototherapy. As I saw the Rajan sir, he's teach me a lot. He teach me that how to spend your time when you are very upset or when you're bored. He teach me that how to connect with the world. Why I got into the children world is that I was a useless for myself. So I said is that I'll become useful at least to the world. It, it, it has given me a meaning for me to live. You should have a meaning something to live for the patient also. As long as meaning is there, hope is there. As long as meaning is there, hope is there. Yes, I think I could not agree more with Ryan. And I also think there is no better conclusion 
for this travel that will come to an end now. I'm exhausted and tired from the traveling, but I'm also full of joy and hope from all the people and stories we have been able to listen to. And I'm looking so much forward to start editing those and make sure we can bring it to you guys. So, we have to catch a plane now, but in the meantime, I wish you all the best from the bottom of my heart. Take care.